Welcome to our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference and Sapphire Now 2014. We are in the ASUG News Studio, sponsored by NTT Data, and we're delighted to have back in the studio Sven Denikin talking about SAP's cloud strategy. I think this is probably your third or fourth appearance, so welcome back. Thanks for having me again. You always take on the tough questions, so I hope we've got some good ones for you today. And I like them, you know that. Well, as, as this is, I mean, this whole event has been so much about this rebirth as SAP, the cloud company powered by HANA. You probably hear that in your sleep. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off on a different note. Why all the big fuss about cloud company? It's a delivery mechanism. You guys have been doing it for a while, so what's the new thing about SAP cloud company powered by HANA? I think uh, Bill has put it very nicely on his keynote. It's about being simple, because if you ask me what the net net of cloud is, it's being simple and fast time to value. Mm -hmm. So what we have been doing with the cloud is actually enable companies to transform their business just quicker with any other technology. I'm not saying we are not in a rip and replace business, you know that, so we offer those choices, but the talk about the cloud is really to have something where you can see the simplicity of SAP, how it's coming, and many companies embrace that. Simple, simplicity, that's the word we've been hearing. How does that really tie into the cloud strategy when customers are hearing that? Because you know you spent a lot of years in the ERP side, these systems can get complex. So how does that sim sim simplicity message work um, going Just call forward? it simple. Simple, how about that? How yeah. does that message work going forward? So first of all, and let's start with IT because sure. of course for ASOC it's important also where is the role of IT in there. I think everyone working in IT wants to be innovative. Everyone working in IT wants to simplify the processes and at the end of the day wants to be simple to the business. Now cloud computing is actually the perfect platform to re-engage in that conversation with the business. And you know, still many business leaders out there make their decisions and do they involve IT always? And I would argue cloud is now the perfect catalytic moment where they can go back again and have a simple discussion about what is the business outcome, what is the solution that can help me to solve that, and by the way also, how does it tie to what I have already today because we're living in hybrid environments. That's a great word to bring up, hybrid environments. Is that going to be, even though SAP is you know, going forward with this cloud vision, are hybrids more the on the ground reality and cloud will fit in there with the on-premise systems for a lot of SAP customers? You know that I do a lot of co-innovation projects, mm -hmm. and, and what I hear from the customers saying me first time is, no, we're not doing everything in the cloud. And you know what, they are right. But that's exactly the discussion we need to have. We need to have a very educated discussion about where does cloud make sense, and by the way, there are many delivery methodologies we need to talk about public cloud solutions to really transform a certain part of the business, very fast, very user-centric, private cloud options where certain areas I would still like to manage more as a client, maybe outsource, and they will be on premise. Yep. And the trick is going to be how to put that together. As I said, we're not in that rip it and replace to mm -hmm. say on-premise bad, cloud good, that's not real, and customers don't buy that. Exactly, customers are not buying that. So last time we actually, we spoke the dawn of the kind of HANA Enterprise Cloud, mm -hmm. HANA Cloud Platform was coming. It's been a little while. First off, can you tell people who are watching, what's the difference between the two and you know, what at that high level would you want them to know? So when they hear this, they know intuitively what it means. Yeah, so if we define cloud computing for the guys who are a little bit more into technology, it's pretty simple. Software, platform, and infrastructure as a service. Then you have different delivery methodologies like via the public cloud where the vendor controls the majority. Then you have the private cloud where actually there could be a mix, could run at the customer, could run in the vendor. So if we take that and now tying it back, HANA Cloud Platform is our platform as a service offering mm -hmm. where we're unifying all of our cloud products and by the way, it's the same DNA that we have in on-premise which is a big, big positive if we want to connect sure. on-premise to cloud. And the HANA Enterprise Cloud is a private cloud environment where I deliver the entire business suite, which then can be run, for example, by SAP or our partners, which takes a lot of burden out of the equation. And I think those evolvements are very natural because we see that cloud computing goes away from pure cost and total cost of ownership discussion to the business value discussion. Mm -hmm. And that's the one we want to have. And that's why when we say, to your earlier question, we are a cloud company, we want to lead in certain areas with cloud. That doesn't neglect that there is, if something works, keep it, that's fine. But transform your business thinking about cloud first. Thank you, that's a very good 
definition. I'm, I'm, I'm sure our viewers would, would appreciate that. So following up on that, you mentioned partners offering services. I think, you know, actually a couple CIOs I spoke to said, you know, there's, there's some gray areas, there's some differences between what SAP is offering in the cloud and the, and the partners. Do you see any areas that, you know, potentially are going to confuse customers with that because there's different service offering, offerings or should those be the same? I'm, I'm just curious, what's mm -hmm. the difference? Mm -hmm. so, so first of all, of course, there has been a lot of hype in that cloud topic and we are constantly trying to make it very crisp and clear what our strategy is. Like, Line of business solutions via the public cloud transform your business. You have it all on one platform and you can have it in a public or private cloud model. As simple as that. Now to the CIOs. CIOs see a big necessity to cope with topics like digital transformation. Mm -hmm. Now they're looking for the adequate tools also to do that and here where cloud kicks in. And what we are telling them is number one, cloud needs to be open. Mm -hmm. So whatever technology you have in house, let's look at that because your current situation defines your path to the cloud, not like rip it out and put it into the cloud. And yes, there is complexity in cloud computing. Mm -hmm. What the beauty is, no matter if you look at HANA Enterprise Cloud or our line of business cloud solutions is, we take more of that burden so the CIOs can focus. Mm -hmm. Because there's a simple equation those guys are looking at. They look at the IT budget, there are three ingredients, hardware, software, mm -hmm. and services, and the budgets are going down. Now, what has cloud to do with that? I think with HANA, we can tackle the hardware piece, and with, with the service delivery via the cloud, we can tackle the service piece. So there's more opportunity for licensing, there's more opportunity, of course, for innovation on sure. top of that. So will partners, the difference in services between SAP and partners, will that come down to price? Will that come, how will that work out? Uh, good question. So first of all, it comes down to quality and technology leadership. So as you also saw here at that event, we are partnering with everyone who sensefully can contribute to the technology we see happening. And that, of course, starts with in-memory technology. We expect that everyone will adopt that technology sooner or later. Now, we are ahead there, but we partner with the best technology companies, with the best service companies, who not only see that coming, but would like to help and help the customer to drive that change. So cloud needs to be open, but also you need to contribute something to the table. And there is a change in the technology and in the service business happening already out there. Yep. But we are proud and we have a good ecosystem and we want to capitalize on that. Great. So one, we actually were talking about this. One um, CIO I spoke to talk, he was talking about the fact that, you know, you hear the word lock-in. Mm -hmm. With cloud, he was fearful, you might be locked in even more because if you stop using the cloud services, it's gone. If you stop mm -hmm. paying your bills, mm -hmm. conceivably. Mm -hmm. But if you're on premise, you know, you can still kind of keep that data. Is that a concern you guys hear? And how, and how do you answer it if it is? Well, actually, we don't hear it because we address it hats on. Actually, if you rent a service as of today, you don't own that car, for example. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you buy a service. In the IT mechanism and with cloud computing, of course the data belong to the people. And that is a question I would ask every customer together with IT to challenge the vendor. Can I keep the data after that service? Can I migrate that maybe to another service or back to on-premise? So that is a given. But the driving force is actually a different one. I don't think that there's going to be so many companies who say, you know, I'm going to shut that completely off. Uh, why? Because what cloud computing has brought to the table, the distance between the one who codes and the one who uses is extremely narrowed down, which is a positive. You mm -hmm. talked about my ERP times, was very l many layers in between. That said, the solutions will be very better fitting to the problem and there's a high willingness of those renewals, of those idea of innovating every quarter. So in a nutshell, I would argue cloud co solutions are as sticky of on premise if done right. Good point. Last question. We spoke last year at annual conference, Sapphire Now, mm -hmm. here in Orlando. What is the biggest thing that's changed since then? That's the most positive thing that you're seeing. Yeah. The biggest change that I see that um, companies and also the ecosystem understands going away from niche cloud solutions to converge to one platform to a suite of cloud solutions. Mm -hmm. They realize they end up in a mushrooming environment of many, many solutions and new technologies. They now understand the power of having it on one platform and having it as a more unified suite. 
And that is something which is extremely appealing if you look at our strategy that we're converging all of our solutions to one platform, mm -hmm. that we enable them to build use experiences seamlessly across public, private, and on-premise solutions. So that is the biggest change that is acknowledged. It doesn't help if it just optimize one piece or one small ver vertical, but I need to think along, along the long run. Example, you know, companies are not interested just in talent management. They look at the complete hire to retire process, yep. and that's where you need a sweet approach. And Bill said it, the sweet will always win. Now, how you define the suite, of course, can be in some categories, but we are actually pretty confident that with the knowledge that we have gained, even in our ERP times, mm -hmm. applying that to the cloud as a suite, that is the change which is embraced much more than I saw last year. Great, well, Sven, great to have you in again, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you again next year. I'm looking forward to. Thanks. Thank you for watching our coverage from ASUG Annual Conference. For more SAP news and ASUG customer stories, please go to asugnews.com.